A new ABC whistleblower is blowing the top on this Trump Kamala debate. You are not going to want to miss this. A lot of people thought when they saw the behavior of ABC News on Tuesday night during the mob attack on President Trump, the unethical, it, sickening, and grotesque journalistic malpractice, which really added up to a three on one assassination attempt uh, journalistically of President Trump. Kamala didn't have to do anything. And the pre rehearsed pre-scripted answers for Kamala Harris made everyone really scratch their heads. The reactions, the sniping, the snipping, the fact-checking. But there's this one moment I can't get out of the back of my eyelids. It's right here. You lost the 2020 election. You repeatedly uh, falsely claimed that you What's won, this? many times saying you won in a landslide. In the past couple of weeks leading up to this debate, uh, you have said, quote, you lost by a whisker, that you, quote, didn't quite make it, that you came up a little bit short. I are said you, that. Are you now acknowledging that you lost in 2020? No, I don't acknowledge that at all. But I you said did that say sarcastically. That. You but know that. It was said, oh, we lost by a whisker. That was said sarcastically. Look, this. So Donald Trump says, I said that sarcastically, and he jumps into defending his campaign in 2020, defending uh, his historic margins that he got, and talking about why he had every right under the Constitution. Bottom line, the 2020 election was handled improperly. It should have been sent to the state legislatures. That goes back to the Constitution. So the fact that they're trying to paint Trump as some conspiracy nut job for even insinuating that that should have been followed is what's wrong with the media and politics. You can't just rewrite the rules to whatever fits your side and narrative. That's not the way this works. And I mean, anybody who saw the Trump whiskers comment knew for a fact that he was being sarcastic. Everyone knows his sense of humor by now. Two elections and govern elections here in this country. So Trump says, but 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 you've heard that before from Trump on the campaign trail. Okay, that, that was not shocking or groundbreaking. The president's been saying that for the better part of four years. What was shocking was when Trump said, I, I lost by a whisker. This, this is just me being sarcastic. David Muir... The news broadcaster. I, I, I didn't said detect this. the sarcasm. Lost by a whisker. We didn't quite make it. I'm to come into our country. What? I did watch all of these pieces of video. I, I, I didn't detect the sarcasm. Lost by a whisker. We didn't quite make it. And we should just point out here as clarification, and you know this, you and your allies, 60 cases. This isn't about you, you jackass. This isn't about you, you propagandizing piece of garbage. This isn't about you, you absolute and total shill. I can't, so I, like, I, this is the thing, I, can, I cannot get this interaction out of my head. That David Muir, all the fact checks and everything, that's bad enough, okay? They didn't fact check Kamala Harris once. They fact checked Donald Trump. They have fact checked Donald Trump on like seven different things at least. Kamala Harris told 25 lies that can be recorded in this debate. But they are literally fact checking Donald Trump's sarcasm during his comments. They're saying, oh, you, I, I fact checked you to not be sarcastic when you said that. They're like diving deep into his soul and saying that they are the arbiters of what Donald Trump thinks and is saying. Oh, man. You know, it makes you think, it really makes you think, and the more you watch this, the more you watch the, the Kamala reactions and the Kamala answers, more importantly, to these questions and how performative and prescriptive they are because we all see what happens when Kamala Harris doesn't have a script and she doesn't have something to follow like an actual script and agenda to follow, it, it's a real head scratcher. Like it really does, it, it, the, the being in the tank, it, it begins to like make even the most honest people watching this debate say, man, like this, it was, this thing seems like it was totally rigged from the inside. Something that makes me happy, after this debate, ABC lost over $25 million in ad revenue, and rightfully so, because they knew exactly what they were doing from the start. They wanted Donald Trump to look like a fool. ABC is not by any means neutral or moderate. They want Kamala to be the president. That's well known. That's a secret that nobody seems to address. They are owned by Disney. You think Disney, one of the most woke corporations on the planet, wants Donald Trump as president? Absolutely. Absolutely not. This was orchestrated from the very beginning to make Donald Trump look like a fool. And they're paying with their pocketbooks because $25 million worth of ad revenue out of their pockets. That's how we defeat these people. Maybe right. Check this out. This is what's breaking across my feed right now. An ABC whistleblower is set to expose a rigged debate revealing two claims. Harris campaign revealed received sample questions that were identical to the ones being asked in the debate. 
that there was a promise that Donald Trump would be fact-checked and that Kamala Harris would not face any scrutiny, as you just saw in that clip. Donald Trump would be fact-checked. Even his even his emotional intentions of comments will be fact-checked. I don't think you were sarcastic enough. You, this, this is why Kamala Harris had such swagger and confidence wobbling into that debate. The whistleblower also points to several other elements designed to give Harris a significant edge of the debate. I wonder if we'll have any revelations about the use of secret communication device. Okay. So where's this coming from? The best that we could do is we could track down this this, this uh, post right here, this tweet right here. I'll be releasing an affidavit from ABC News regarding the debate. I've signed a non-disclosure agreement with an attorney and whistleblower. The affidavit states that the Harris campaign was given sample questions, which were essentially the same questions that were given in the debate. Fact-checking Donald Trump would not be fact-checked. According to the affidavit, states several other factors were built in to give Kamala an advantage. I will release the full affidavit. I'll be releasing it before the weekend is out, uh, this account. Obviously, a Trump supporting account. Uh, Black insurrectionist is what it's called. I have not heard of this person. I do not know who this person is. But these are the claims. These claims are being picked up pretty widely. ABC whistleblower alleged that affidavit that the Harris campaign was given sample questions. And that Trump would be fact-checked. This is Jason Miller, Trump's senior advisor, saying, uh, what the F is this? We all saw Kamala Harris perfectly recite answers during the debate. Like she knew exactly where what she was going to be asked. The head of ABC News set her up with her husband. Two of ABC anchors uh, attacked Trump all night and cut him off. Remember when Donald Trump brought up the fact that he was shot and the anchor said, we don't have time to talk about that and moved on. Remember the anchors didn't even apologize to Donald Trump that he got shot? Meaning like they didn't even say, "I'm we're glad you're okay. What does that mean? Incredible. Turns out to be true. This is a serious breach of journalistic ethics and will be the death blow to ABC News. Says, well, Bill Ackman, one of the, one of the richest guys on earth, billionaire. Uh, all of this leads to President Trump making the announcement that he will not be doing another debate. There will be no third debate. Kamala Harris, uh, with Kamala Harris, campaign releases a memo touting the gains in targeted states. So President Trump has said he will not debate again Kamala Harris. I mean, what lengths do you have to go to actually get a neutral debate? Who's truly neutral in 2024? Everyone's going to have some bias one way or the other. But I think the most fair person you can have is Megyn Kelly. I think she would stick it to both sides. I think she would be a fine moderator. But in regards to Trump saying that he's not going to debate again... I don't know if I fully believe him saying that. Yes, his poll numbers probably will go up post that debate. I think it's a bargaining chip so he can have more favorable conditions for the third and final debate. But that's just me. What do you guys think? Uh, I want a rematch. Polls clearly show that I won the debate against a, com a communist Kamala Harris, a Democrat radical left candidate. Tuesday night, she immediately called for a second debate. She and crooked Joe Biden have destroyed the country. Millions of criminals and deranged people pouring in. Unchecked. Everyone knows this. All the other uh, problems caused by Kamala... And Joe, uh, she was a no-show at the Fox debate. She refused to do NBC or CBS. Kamala should focus on what she's been, done during the last uh, four-year period. There will be no third debate. There will be no third debate. There's a Trump team is sharing right now. Donald Trump just posted this saying there will be no third debate. Why debate? The numbers for Trump look good. The debate is obviously an opportunity for Kamala Harris to frame herself uh, as – someone who can, well, recite pre-scripted answers, which is exactly what that sounds like. So I had a call, I, during the debate, I, I, I had, and, and these, are, these are just the most recent Pew Research release figures showing he's up 82% uh, to 16% uh, with evangelicals. Well, white evangelicals, that's the vast majority of the nation. Get out of the vote programs, full effect. Uh, the number is incredibly impressive uh, and is historic, actually. Trump's unique and special bond uh, to the religious communities. Um, I want to like talk to you about something really quickly. And I wonder if you had the same experience. I called a member of my family who's not that political, but was passively watching the debate. And they said that Kamala Harris, and I can't get this out of my mind, Kamala Harris behaved like an actress reciting lines. That she just kind of like knew her prompts and she was like ready to recite a line. That it was performative and it was like completely prescripted. It was almost like like Donald Trump was being shackled down and Kamala was given all of the room to run. Now, in spite of this, Donald Trump has been uh, on ABC News's uh, social media. Donald Trump's been absolutely uh, destroying Kamala Harris. And many people have been destroying Kamala Harris after the fact. Obviously, the fact checks that happened during the debate or didn't happen during the debate 
is journalistic now. It's, it's a crime. It's a crime. This was the debate was a crime. Going into the debate, I expected Donald Trump to be on his back foot because he had everything stacked against him. The moderators, the network, the questions, everything. Everything was against this man. Yet he still beat Kamala in the debate. How is that possible? Because his policy wins. Policy wins elections, not personalities. No matter how hard they try and tell you, oh, Kamala is such a nice and likable person. She's got such a nice laugh. Don't fall for that BS. Vote for the person who's gonna make your life better. And that's Donald Trump 10 times out of 10. Do I think there was some funny business going on in this debate? I absolutely do. Do I think she had the questions? I absolutely do. The earpiece, I probably do. All of these things I think she had in her favor because I don't think these people, the Democrats, they have any bounds to what they would do in order to get their way. I think they would do whatever it takes. But in regards to the third debate, I do want to see a third debate because I think it's the right thing to do for the American people. But there has to be better conditions for Donald Trump. You can't put him in a scenario like that again. Well, let me know, who would you like to see moderate a third Trump debate if they had one? I would like to see Megyn Kelly, maybe Tucker Carlson, Joe Rogan, somebody along those lines where they can see the positives and the negatives in both candidates. They don't just look at one candidate blindly. But yeah, let me know who you would say down below. I'd love to hear that. And if you enjoyed, make sure to smash that like, comment, subscribe, and wish you guys nothing but the best. Till next time.